A Chalodon just got banned from the Gen and Ophiu steer after getting suspect tested some time ago. This Pokemon has proven to be a massive problem for the Gen and Ophiu steer and it got banned with a 75% ban majority. I myself actually participated in the suspect test and voted to ban it. As after playing with the Pokemon and against it, I felt like it was not a fair and healthy Pokemon for the tier as of right now at least. That being said, let's go over what actually made Archeladon such a problematic Pokemon and my personal reasons why I voted to ban it. So Archeladon just got banned, we're gonna quickly go over again what made it such a problematic Pokemon and after that I share my personal thoughts. We still have no sprite, so I'll add it in my uh, one myself again. Uh, so yeah, uh, first of all, Steel Dragon typing is an incredible uh, typing defensively, also pretty good offensively. Only weak to Fighting and Ground, which are two of the best offensive typings. But um, most of those moves from you know the, what makes these typings so great are uh, physical uh, and. This Pokemon can kind of circumvent it with its ability Stamina, which of course gives it a defense race after um, being hit by a move. So effectively, you it doesn't really have a weakness because it's so bulky on the defensive side, on physical defensive side. Uh, you cannot really KO it. For example, Great Tusk, Headlong Rush only has a very, very small chance to KO Archeladon uh, with a spread like this, for example. So uh, then again, it's also a very strong Pokemon with 125 base special attack stat. Uh, Draco Meteor, of course, your Flash Cannon for secondary Shep allows to hit Fairy types. And Body Press is a great coverage option to hit Steel types uh, that can otherwise take both of its step moves and can greatly make use of that with Stamina, of course, giving it those the repeated defense boost. And lastly, we have Electro Shot, which is a very powerful move, 130 base power, very special attack with one stage, and normally it would have a uh, turn where it has to charge, but in rain, it just immediately fires off that 130 power base powerful move, and you get a special attack boot, so effectively it's a 180 base power move. So this Pokemon basically has three step moves, uh, which made it very difficult to switch into. In my opinion, uh, also, I have to mention Terra Fairy here because this basically flips all of its matchups. In my opinion, Archeladon is a very cheap Pokemon, which is why I voted to ban it. Uh, the team you see right here, this is the team I used to get my Rex for the suspect test. I played 50 games, I won 41 I think and lost 9 of them. So uh, almost a 80% or a little higher than 80% win rate to get my Rex. Uh, this is a sample team actually, I did not create it myself, I think NGNP created this team, this rain sample team, so shout out to him. Uh, but why do I think it's cheap? Now first of all, you cannot really defensively switch into this Pokemon. When I played, the only Pokemon that really were annoying to play against were Slogging Galar, uh, Clotsire and also specially defensive Ting Lu. Uh, but the big one being Clotsire, because it's the only counter, in my opinion, to a Chaladon. And Slogan Kalar just tanks your hits really well. It has a generator and it can get rid of the rain, which makes it an annoying Pokemon to play against when well, using a rain team. Now, a Chaladon, uh, aside, if you did not have one of these Pokemon, it was very difficult to switch into it. You can very easily misplay with a Chaladon. And still get out on top, which I think is does is not really skillful. You can basically click uh, the the move that is best for the Pokemon that's in front of you. And if they make a switch, you they cannot really threaten you back. This Pokemon is impossible to one hit KO when it has an assault vest and invest in its bulk uh, because you, it really has no weakness. And like I said, it's very uh, bulky on the physical side, so you cannot KO it with a close combat or an earthquake. Or a headlong rush. It's you're at least gonna get one kill with this Pokemon, which I think is not really fair. Kind of reminds me of Melmetal in Gen 8, but Melmetal had enough defensive counterplay. It it didn't trade all the time. It could trade, but there was enough defensive counterplay to that Pokemon. In this Pokemon, it, it's not the case because it has that perfect coverage, and it and it can very easily snowball out of hand with Electro Shot boosting its special attack. And if you do get it weak, for example, maybe you do 40% with the Something, I get the KO with the Chaladon, now you switch in your Great Tusk and you 
try to finish the Pokemon off with Headlong Rush. Now it just goes for a, um, what you call it, uh, for Terra Fairy. Uh, it gets another defense boost and it KOs your Great Tusk. Maybe you lack something else now to KO it because it has that plus two defense and Assault Vest boost. And it can very easily get three, three KOs just like that. And it has happened multiple times. I've seen it in SPL, seen it in my own games. For me, this Pokemon is just too easy to play. On rain teams at least, right? Without rain teams, you don't really have that Electro Shot, which you have to be worried about. Still a good Pokemon outside of rain though, but not broken in my opinion. I used primarily on rain teams because, you know, if I'm gonna vote on the Pokemon, I would like to actually put it to use. Uh, so I can get a good grasp on... You know, if it actually broken or not. If you look at this team right here, when I played against Archeladon, I also had uh, trouble switching into it myself. Now, this is a very offensive oriented, oriented team, so naturally I don't really have a uh, defensive backbone. But the only way I was able to beat opposing Archeladon is by using my own Archeladon and winning a 50 50 with Terra. Uh, and the move I clicked on the opposing terror. This is basically how I won against Archeladon. And in most cases, that's also how my opponent won against my Archeladon. If they did a terror I didn't predict, or unless they sacked uh, 100 Pokemon just to get me low and in range of uh, KOing the Archeladon. So those are my thoughts why this Pokemon wasn't really healthy. In my opinion, it, it requires no skill. Honestly, didn't really feel like I was outplaying my opponent with, when using it. Okay, so what happens now with our Charaton gone? Now, I think we can all see this coming. Rain teams are gonna dip down in usage quite a lot. I predict that maybe Iron Swest might drop to UU. I don't know if it's gonna happen this shift, but maybe next shift. Uh, the same could happen for Barriscuda as well. We're gonna have to see. But rain teams are gonna take a big hit. Our Charaton was kind of the glue that hold, holds a rain team together because it really deals with the problems rain uh, the most prominent problems rain has for example Rillaboom, King Gambit, uh, Archeladon could easily check those Pokemon, Oakbon Water, Water Spring, Wa Wellspring yeah that's the name a very problematic Pokemon for rain probably the the most problematic out of uh, the three I just mentioned Archeladon could uh, very easily check that Pokemon as well so Rain team is gonna take a big hit. Uh, maybe they recover, but we're gonna have to wait and see how the meta develops. Uh, that's basically all I have to say about um, Archeladon getting banned. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think Archeladon deserve to get banned? Uh, you know, yeah, let me know your thoughts. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.